What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to your video. Today, I'm doing race six for the 2024 UNOH 200. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This week in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series has the Bristol Motor Speedway, the world's fastest half mile race track that can create a lot of tempers, a lot of chaos, a lot of controversy. This also is the second race of the round of 10, so this second race that could determine who gets in the next round for the round of eight. The last time we ran near Bristol Motor Speedway, we saw Christian Eckes pick up, I believe, his second win of the 2024 season. He's looking to pick up his fourth win of 2024 and lock his way into the round of eight and get redemption from last year's fall race as well. So now let's go ahead and jump into picks. But before we go ahead and jump into picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So weather for Thursday is looking really promising. It's going to be 80 degrees high with 59 degrees with only a 20% chance of rain with mostly cloudy skies. Going to be some pretty nice weather headed out to the race track. We'll cool off as the night progresses and goes on. And it could change your track conditions for this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the playoff standings as we go into race two of the round of 10. So Christian Eckes is 60 points up. Ty Majewski is 44 points up. Corey Heim is 41 points up. Nick Sanchez is 34 up. Taylor Gray and Tyler Ankin are both 13 up. Daniel Dyke is 9 up. And Grant and Finger is 2 points up. Ben Rose is 2 points below. And Roger Kroof is 4 points below. I expect this to fluctuate and change throughout the night as there's going to be a lot of chaos and a lot of controversy, though the race is going to be very fast-paced and very short. So anyways, let's finally go ahead and jump into picks. For those who are new to the channel, here's how picks usually work. I do two suck picks, two drivers. I expect a struggle on Thursday. I think we'll not have a good run that I think are going to struggle this weekend. I do two underdog picks, two drivers who need a really good run this weekend or under front equipment or a driver that's really good at this type of track and not the greatest equipment. I do my winner's pick. The driver thinks it's going to win a race overall. And I do drivers need to watch out for. And usually for the truck series and the Xfinity series, I got four drivers need to watch out for along with the race winner. So now, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Who are my suck picks for the UNOH 200 at Bristol? My first suck pick for this weekend at Bristol is a driver to 13 truck for Thor Sport Racing, Jake Garcia. Jake Garcia has struggled immensely so far in 2024. When he got in that truck, I expect him to completely outperform Haley Deegan. While he's been a little better than Haley Deegan's been was last year, he has not really set the world on fire. I feel like Thorsport Racing as an organization as a whole, outside of Ty Majeski, has really struggled throughout the 2024 season. I think, unfortunately, he's going to struggle. I don't think he's going to have a good run. And sadly, I think he's going to finish outside the top 10 or top 15 for sure this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway in the 13. My second suck pick for this weekend at Bristol is a driver in the 91 truck for McAnally Hilgeman Racing, Jack Wood. Jack Wood has been very unimpressive so far throughout 2024. I think he's only had one top 10 finish all year so far, and he compared him to drivers behind the wheel of this car. Of course, Zane Smith, who almost won in this truck earlier this year, I just have not been inspired by Jack Wood's performance. I think he's really struggled so far throughout the 2024 season. I don't think he's going to have a good run. I don't think he's going to have the speed, the pace, or the drive to be up there. I think, unfortunately, will end up struggling this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway in the 91. And now we're going to go ahead and jump on the underdog picks for the UNOH 200. Who are my underdog picks? My first underdog pick for this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway is a driver of the 81 truck for McAnally Hilgeman Racing, Corey Day. Corey Day is making his NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series debut this week and also running the ARCA race, but I expect him to get up to speed very, very quickly. He has got a lot of potential. Hendrick Motorsports is really back in the sky, and I think with how fast I think he's going to be and how quick he's going to get up to speed, I would not be shocked or surprised if he at least gets top 10 and maybe even gets a top 5 this week. And I think he's going to have the pace to drive and the speed to contend, and I think he'll do a really solid, really great job. I think he'll do a pretty solid job in his debut for sure this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway. My second underdog pick for this weekend at Bristol is a driver to 38 truck for former motorsports Lane Riggs. Lane Riggs has been on a roll in recent weeks. He just won the most recent truck series race in Milwaukee a few weekends ago, and he's had a couple top fives prior to that. You go back to Richmond, where he finished, I believe, in third or fourth position. And he's had a lot of continuous pace or speed 
over the course of the last few weeks. I think Lane Grace can honestly have a shot to go back to back. He's really starting to gel. It's really starting to come together. We haven't seen if he's been announced to be back with his teammate or not, but I think he should be back because he's been doing a really solid, a really great job. I think Lane Reeves will have a good chance and opportunity for another top five for sure this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway. And now we're going ahead and go on the winner's pick for the UNOH 200. Who is my winner's pick? The driver I'm picking to win this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway is the driver scored the most points so far on short tracks in the 2024 season. It actually won at Bristol earlier this year. I'm picking the driver of the 19 truck for McAnally Hilgeman Racing, Christian Atkins to pick up his fourth win of 2024. Christian Eck has been the best driver on short tracks throughout the 2024 season. He's led the most laps, I believe, on short tracks throughout the year. And he's been one of the most consistent drivers throughout the whole entire season. I think Christian's going to lock his way into round of eight. He could have won this race last year. Of course, he won the most recent race earlier this year. I think Christian Eckes and the 19 team are going to have the pace and speed to contend. I'm picking Christian Eckes for sure to pick up his fourth win of 2024 this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway. And now we're going to go ahead and jump on the drivers you need to watch out for for this weekend at Bristol. Who should he have your eyes out on? The first driver you should watch out for for this weekend at Bristol is a driver of the 98 truck for Thor's for Racing, Ty Majeski. Ty Majeski won at this race last year or in 2022, and he's been very good at Bristol Motor Speedway historically. I think Ty Majeski is going to have a really strong chance and opportunity to go to victory lane. He's been great at short tracks this year. He's been the closest thing to Christian Eckes throughout the season. I think the pace to speed is going to be there for him, and I would not be surprised or shot if Ty Majeski gets into the round of eight with a win this weekend or on Thursday at Bristol Motor Speedway. The second driver to watch out for for this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway is a driver of the 11 truck for Thorsport Racing, or Tricon Garage, excuse me, Corey Heim. Corey Heim's been struggling in the last couple races, but he's been very good at Bristol. Remember, he actually won this race last year, not Ty Majeski. I think Corey Heim is going to have a really strong chance and opportunity to get his second ever Bristol win. Well, there's been times where the team has struggled and Tricon's been lacking the speed at times. I think he gets has a really good chance and opportunity, and I would not be surprised or shocked if we see Corey Hunt pick up win number six of 2024 this weekend with Tricon at Bristol Motor Speedway. The third driver to watch out for for this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway is a driver of the number seven truck for Spire Motorsports, Connor Zillage. Connor Zillage is making his third career truck series start this weekend, but there's a lot of hype around this kid. He just picked up his first career NASCAR Xfinity Series victory this past week in Watkins Glen and was running in the top 10 at Richmond before unfortunately getting taken out at the end of the race. I think Connor Zillich is going to be a threat to win. The seven truck almost won this race earlier this year with Kyle Busch. I think Connor Zillich has a really strong chance and a really great possibility to get the win for sure this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway and maybe get his first ever truck series victory. And the fourth final driver that I think you should watch out for for this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway is the driver of the two truck for Rev Racing, Nick Sanchez. Nick Sanchez had a very solid year so far in 2024 and has picked up two victories throughout the year. And Nick has been quietly having a decent year on short tracks as well and is coming off of having a pretty solid top five finish, I believe, at the Milwaukee Mile. I expect him to be pretty quick this weekend, and the two trucks fire has been pretty good, and the Rev group has been solid so far this year. I think Nick Sanchez will be fast for sure this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway in the two. So, those are my race picks for the UNOH 200 at Bristol. Just a reminder, my suck picks are Jake Garcia, Jack Wood. My underdog picks are Corey Day, Lane Riggs. My winner's pick is Christian Eckes. And the ones to watch out for, Ty Majeski, Corey Heim, Connor Zilich, and Nick Sanchez. Those are my race picks. So, that is going to be it for the race picks video for the 2024 UNOH 200 at Bristol Motor Speedway. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, notifications on, and if I win a video, it does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support on Patreon as well. Let's go and blow that and combo your picks below for this weekend at Bristol. Let me know your suck picks, let me know your underdog picks, let me know your winner's pick, and let me know your drivers you're watching out for for this weekend at Bristol. Let me know your picks in the comments below. Tomorrow on the channel, we're going to have Xfinity Series race picks for Bristol Motor Speedway on Friday night. We're also going to have a NASCAR news video most likely dropping. Then on Thursday, we'll have Cup Series race picks. We're also going to have the Pain Skin video and the Truck Series race review. Friday, we'll have NASCAR news video dropping early in the morning in the NASCAR Xfinity Series race review. And then on Sunday, we'll also have basically reactions to Cup qualifying as well since that's 
that's on Friday. And then Saturday, we'll have reactions to Cup Series race, and we'll have a lot of great content dropping. And I think on Sunday, we'll have a silly season predictions update for 2025. Got a lot of great content dropping that I cannot wait for you guys to check out. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.